the Kappa body resists the Red Plague very staunchly, even in Russian conditions. Although when the pain is chipped, you should not leave the damaged area unattended. Owners of Launcher Kappa better not be afraid of corrosion, but of accidents, because body parts for this car will have to be bought only new ones, or very decent money. And in this case it is not necessary to dream of buying a used fender or bumper. But this is a normal price to pay for driving an almost exclusive car. Engine. Launcher Kappa had a very decent range of engines, although this model lacked any one particularly powerful power unit. Almost all Kappas found on our secondary market have a gasoline engine under the hood, although the Italians also offered a 2.4-liter diesel engine, which first produced 124 horsepower and then 136 horsepower. Of course, for a car with such an image as Launcher, this is not too much, but the huge advantage of diesel Kappas is efficiency, because in the city they consume about 10 to 12 liters of diesel per 100 kilometers. The result is more than worthy, because even the most economical gasoline engines spend at least 14 to 15 liters of the 95th. However, it is probably better to refuse to purchase a used diesel car. It will not save a lot of money, because diesel maintenance is recommended every 5 to 7,000 kilometers, and not after 10 to 15,000 kilometers, as is the case with gasoline engines. In addition, you need to understand that the repair of launcher diesels in Russia costs a lot of money, and besides, we don't have many craftsmen who can work with them. According to the masters familiar with launcher, when buying a Kappa, it is best not to be smart and take a car with a gasoline engine that is more familiar to Russia. Moreover, there are enough worthy units under the hood of this model. For example, even the most modest of gasoline engines, a 2-liter 5-cylinder unit, produce 145 horsepower, or 155 horsepower this is enough to accelerate the car over 200 km h But there is also a 2.4 liter engine, 175 horsepower. It is believed that Kappa with these two units have the best price slash quality ratio. Although there is also a 3.0 liter V6 engine that produced 204 horsepower, as well as a 2 liter turbocharged unit with 205 horsepower, and later all 220 horsepower. However, you need to immediately talk about the shortcomings of the especially powerful Launcher Kappa. Firstly, this is their price, such cars initially cost significantly more than all other options. In addition, these units consume a decent amount of gasoline, 17 to 20 liters, and their operation will require high costs. For example, maintenance of a 3 liter V6 is difficult due to its large size, you can probably not talk about the fact that any parts for this engine are very expensive. As for the 2-liter turbocharged engines, by now many of them are already in a very worn condition due to the constant work at the limit of their capabilities. In addition, due to the high power density, this unit does not have the highest resource. We should not forget about the risk of getting on the turbine, which sometimes cannot be repaired, and buying a new one will cost at least $1,200. As experience shows, in many cases, with a run of up to 200,000 kilometers, Italian engines do not cause much trouble, but then really serious problems may appear. Therefore, buying a 10-year-old launcher cap, whose real mileage is probably approaching 250 to 300,000 kilometers, is a rather risky undertaking. In order for the power unit to serve as long as possible, it requires not only regular oil and filter changes, this is really very important, and it is better to buy Silnia branded oil. It is necessary to monitor the timely installation of a new timing belt with rollers after 50 to 60,000 kilometers. This procedure must be carried out precisely through this interval, although the launcher company itself recommended changing the belt after 120,000 kilometers, this costs a total of 150 to 200 dollars. According to experienced craftsmen, they saw a lot of cars in which the timing belt was already torn for 70,000 kilometers, leading to truly terrible consequences. Sometimes one or another attachment breaks down on used launches. This is sometimes seriously frustrating for car owners, because new parts cost a lot of money. For example, they ask for more than $500 for a generator, and $350 for a starter. Fortunately, in many cases, Russian craftsmen can repair these nodes for a much more modest reward. All engines, with the exception of the 2-liter turbocharged unit, were equipped with both automatic and manual transmissions, the most powerful Launcher Kappa had only a manual gearbox. Both transmissions perform well and they rarely cause trouble. Although if you constantly start abruptly from intersections, you can kill the box. For drivers who love aggressive driving, the 
clutch will not last long, 40 to 50,000 kilometers, but if you take care of the car, it will last for 100,000 kilometers, replacing the kit costs 200 to $250, including work. By the way, we can advise drivers who are forced to change the clutch not to delay this operation, since a worn clutch leads to failure of the shaft bearings and, accordingly, to more expensive repairs, about $400 in total. Suspension Fully independent suspension front and rear gives this car a very decent ride. In addition, it is worth noting that the Lancia Kappa, unlike, say, its related Alfa Romeo, does not have sharp steering. The hydraulic booster, on the contrary, is configured so that the driver never strains. By the way, it must be said right away that the steering system on Kappa does not suffer from any chronic ailments, although breakdowns do occur here. The chassis tuned for comfort has an average resource for foreign cars. However, the good news is that all suspension elements are not too expensive, and besides, if the same ball joint is worn out, there is no need to buy the entire arm assembly. It is enough to purchase only one ball joint for $30, a lever assembly with a silent block is $100. Shock absorbers need to be changed after about 50 to 60,000 kilometers, although careful drivers sometimes drive with one set and up to 100,000 kilometers. It should be noted that the Lancia Kappa was equipped with a suspension with automatic ride height adjustment, which is why the shock absorbers for this model are not cheap. They ask for $150 for the rear and $135 for the front. Braking system Lancia Kappa, fortunately, no complaints. But the car buyer should know that after about 80 to 120,000 kilometers here you have to change the discs on all wheels along with the pads. The operation in total turns out to be expensive because four discs will cost $300, and another $80 to $100 pads. Yes, plus $120 work. 